What's up? It's Josh Hewitt. It's time to do it with Hewitt and it is January 1st, 2018. And in this video, I just wanted to share a quick uh, New Year's message with you. And typically, as a fitness professional, you'd expect me to be encouraging you to make uh, resolutions to get your diet in gear and uh, you know, adopt a rigorous exercise program. And certainly, I don't discourage that. But uh, I just wanted to change the pace a little bit and in this video, encourage you to take some time out as well. So take some time for relaxation, for rest, for recuperation. Make sure that you're getting enough sleep. Take time to, for some stillness and quiet, uh, to reflect, to look inward rather than always looking externally for you know, solutions. Uh, and certainly, I believe a big part of uh, being in a state of balance and health and wellness is moving your body regularly every day, whether that is with a workout or going for a walk or just uh, playing with the, the kids uh, if you have family. Uh, taking the dog for a walk, whatever it might be, doing a dynamic warm-up. Uh, I'll post a link to that on the screen. If I'm not doing a workout, I at least get my body moving like that to just keep the energy up. It's like the law of inertia. Uh, body in motion tends to stay in motion and the body at rest will tend to remain at rest. So keep that momentum. Uh, keep your body moving. It doesn't have to be rigorous exercise, but your body really craves movement. It's one of the few machines that gets better with use. Yet the, the main recommendation I'd strongly encourage you to consider for this upcoming year is the message of stillness, taking some time out. And whether that be time with family, time for reading, uh, meditation, time in nature, um, just take that time to you know, be still, be quiet, and reflect on what's really important to you, what matters most for you. What are you spending the majority of your time doing? Is it something that enriches you or is it something that drains you? and just really listen to your body. I find that if you, if you take the time to honestly quiet your mind and look inward, you'll know what is best for you. So a lot of people crave certain types of foods or overindulgence, but it's not really what they really want within. That's like a compensation for some lack in their life. And the, the sloth or sluggishness that you feel, they just, just want to sit and watch Netflix. Um, if you really tune into your body, honestly, it wants to move. It doesn't, may not mean that's, constantly an intense training session, but you're, if you really listen to yourself, you'll know what is best for you. And that takes some practice. Uh, that's why meditation is called a practice. But really, ultimately, that becomes uh, an absence of doing. It's like the doing of nothing. And I think that's important to make time for nothing. So that might sound a little strange coming from a trainer, but that's been a big change in my life this last year, is really making time to take time out. And for me, it's been mindfulness meditation. Uh, I'll put some links to information on that as well if, that, if that's of interest to you. But whatever that might be for you, just time to just be with yourself or with family or with nature uh, where you don't have to you know, keep all of your fingers in the marionette strings of your life. And if you do take that time to, to reflect or to quiet your mind, Along with that, pay attention to your body. Uh, really look inward and, and listen to you, like what would feel the best as far as the foods you eat, the people you hang out with, the work you're doing, the way you spend your time, and what's really important to you in your life. Are you really making time for what you really value, what you're passionate about? And a lot of us feel that we can't do that because we have responsibilities, we don't have enough time, we have money commitments and that sort of thing. But if you're honest with yourself, there's always ways to fit in the things that are important to you. And I know for myself included, you know, we might seem like we're incredibly busy, we have all these obligations, but we still make time for mindless stuff like Facebook and our favorite TV shows or Netflix and whatnot um, as an escape. Well, rather than that, try escaping inward and reflect on what's going on inside. Anyway, it's just a simple message, but I believe it's pretty profound. And if you can take the time to consider what that means for you, I believe this will set the tone for a very good year going forward. Wishing you all the best for 2018. Until next time, stay strong.